Alright, I'm doing that little video I had promised on how I go about practicing or making a route. Well, for any jungler that existed before, I will, if they make any changes to him, buffs or nerfs, I will try the same build I had before on them and see if it still holds up. Yo ho ho, and a bottle of rum! In this case, Gangplank has of the, uh, what's his face, Graves Patch got another nerf to his E. Less damage to summoners rest me hearty and the less mobility, thus you know, hurting his jungle slightly. But even slight changes can cause big differences as we've seen before. So now I'm using the same mastery, same runes as the previous Grand video. Hammer. And I'm doing the superior route just like in the other video. Now, in a real game, it's usually better to go small golems and then go blue, but uh, in this case, it's just, you know, for solo jungling, because, you know, sometimes you can't rely on your teammates to do anything. Uh, I have a team battle, in fact, where my teammates didn't give me a leash because they forgot, so I had to manage some, you know, improvised route. In the case, Gangplank was changed, so I gotta, you know, give him a test run. And I would just do the same build and do the same thing and see where it ends up. And if there's any significant changes, then I might go Minions and alter his build. Well, blow me down! As far as I can see, wolves are going by fine, the same as before, no real difference. However, however uh, the, in the, the iteration before this one, Gangplank almost died of small golems, and either if that was a mistake of mine or something, then we'll be able to find that out. Since he's been nerfed, he should have issues. That was a mistake. Uh, since I'm recording with Fraps, it, it got uh, a little laggy there, and I guess it didn't register my smite. In any case, that is small golems, I have a good amount of HP. Now, I could do the whole leashing thing, but most people tend to screw it up, and I screw it up sometimes, and I don't want to run that risk. Now, with this HP and damage I can do, it's pretty obvious I'll make it out of life, if even by just a little bit of HP. So, uh, he cleared it fine, no real issue, nothing at all, maybe low HP to get you counter jungle. But overall, same deal as before. Now, I noticed in the clock that it's a little a tad slower, and it was a little slow there, so I'm just thinking, during the big buffs or the or the second clear, I might start adding just seconds to each little camp. So therefore, you know, it it feels like it might be slower though. I'm in the jungle got time. Me ground legs yet, Randlubber. Now, like I can see, there's no real difference right now. If I were to have died, I would just simply start over. I'll probably try again the same route, and the same build and all that stuff, unless it was dramatically catastrophic bad. In some cases, if I'm using like a jungler that's a caster, I'll kind of just give up on them because I'll go with cloth armor and stuff and just not try that hard. But on someone like Gangplank, I'll try hard for him. Now, I did get some criticals, and they could be considered to be poisoning the sample, if you may, but not by much. I already tried this before. 
that it really didn't affect the route at all. It would have ended up pretty much the same. So, by the looks of this, is get yeah, jungle gangplank with his nerves. No real dif no real difference. However, though, there is only one difference, and it has nothing to do with clearing or surviving or anything. It's speed. He seems to have actually gotten slower. Like, I'm already passing the threshold of the file of previous video. From the looks of it, I'll probably end up at 5 minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah, 5 minutes and 40 seconds. That kind of sucks for him. He got slower, at least in this route. So you still gotta, you know, I would recommend more doing the assisted jungling for, for him. Yeah, he'll still be strong, he'll still do his other stuff, but when it comes to jungling on his well, own accord, he seems he got weaker. So, that's just the gist of it. Now, this is a new one. Like, if I want would want to make a new video for someone who doesn't have one I would just look at them just straight out are they AD champions? AD champions pretty much can handle some parts of the jungle do they have steroids? steroids help junglers out a lot do they have any innate tankiness? of course that's important too and Quirky fails in a lot of these however though he's got pretty high damage on his gadling gun Especially since the change, at least for early levels. So, I'll try Gatling Gun on him. Now, he could jungle before, too, in a weird way. Like, he wouldn't be the best or anything. I, I have done it for just lulls. But, I would assume his... He would drop around small golems, but I'll test it anyways. He's got high damage. So I'll try a superior rat using Vampiric Scepter. I'm using what I coded as the the Prince runes. Prince runes are the 14% uh, attack speed, 12 armor pen, and then the yellow mastery. I mean yellow armor. Then there's the uh, the King's runes, and then there's the Jack's runes. Those uh, I'll oh, explain later if sorry. I ever come up to them. Well, actually, I should explain now. If I, if all goes to hell and I can't really make it work with any other optimal rune set, I will go with the uh, the king's runes. Minions Those are basically trundles. Anyways, let's see how this works out. Now. The damage I'm gonna take is all we're gonna be way too much. I can already tell this is gonna fail. Not enough damage, and I'm taking too much damage myself. So this right here is a failure. Like, uh, the raids are probably gonna take me down dangerously low. I'll, you know, smite the blue one. But if my health is just about well, one bar, I call it quits right there. Yeah. Obviously, anyone, even if I did the whole, you know, leashing thing, I'll, I'll die in a smoke home, so I quit right here. Anyways, I'm to the second attempt now. And because of how catastrophically bad the first attempt was, I immediately would, will likely switch to the God's runes. I mean, the King's runes. God. Runes. Like, I used to call it God, but now I just call it King's God. I had really nothing else to call it, you know, below another level. Jesus runes? No. So, King, Prince, Jack. Then there's the outliers like the full attack damage on Red and Quince, but the King's Runes has a, Welcome to Summoner's Rift. in my opinion, the absolute best for jungling, and it doesn't transition as bad as other rune combinations. It's the 9.6 attack damage, 10 armor combination. I mean, yeah, you lose out on a lot of armor pen, but your jungling is actually empowered by a lot. 
Now, even with having the king's runes, there really isn't uh, a guarantee that it will be much better. Though on champions with AD ratios, it sometimes makes a huge difference, such as Trundle. Which is why, you know, the Trundle, that's where I figured it out first. I'm like, wow, this, this is amazing on Trundle. I bought it just to test it out on him. In any case, I'll do the same path and see how it goes. If I fail again here and it's pretty bad and catastrophic again, I'll go for opting on starting the, on the Wraith side. Minions has spawned. This is Major Tug to ground control. In any case, here we go. Now I'm taking less damage than before and healing more. And it something is pointing me to the direction that perhaps Quirky would do better with the full attack damage runes and build. However though, that's kind of like a direction I don't want to go because he is an AD range carry and he needs uh, the armor pin. It's a charge now I have more HP, like uh, 150 more HP than last time, so I'll see if I can handle the, uh, the small golems. In fact, I I'll do the whole Asian trick for this. Yeah, as I just said, it's pretty annoying when it backfires. By the looks of it, I'll, I'm gonna die right now. Uh... Okay, so now I've worked my way down the ladder of rune sets and builds. Now I'm using attack, damage, reds, and quints. A step down from the God's path. I mean, ugh, the King's runes. Another fine sortie. Eh, this still won't transition well at all, especially for a ranged AD. But I'm hoping that you know the Gatling gun will make up for the armor or the the armor that some of these creeps have. I'm gonna give it a one more go on the small wool. Small wool. Uh, you know what, at this point I just think it'd be better to start off at the raids. Pretty much already ruined a lot of what Corky can do. And I just realized the AD ratio on his Gatling gun is awful. So, man that's awful. I have how much bonus? 30 seconds 18 until and I only get 7. So it's less than 2. I mean it's less than half. So, I'm bad at math. So, this is major time the rooting choice was awful too. So now I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I could force the jungling out of Corky, and I've done that before. But, let's just see how this goes. See if this other one at least proves some kind of, you know, some kind of possibility. <laughs> There's two bad things right here. One, my health isn't that great. And Smite is not gonna be off cooldown. So, small golems will probably tear me into pieces. So, I either have to wait a little bit for my Smite to get off cooldown, or I can risk it. But since I don't want to risk it, I'll just wait a couple seconds and just go. Vroom, vroom.
Alright, this golem will die by itself. I, I don't I don't have any chance of dying. It's a well, that first clear was pretty annoyingly bad, but it's about as fast as you know the gangplank was. Well, now I just go about the same path, and I don't know what to level up actually. Uh, I didn't research this enough. Well, it looks like Gatling Gun would be the preferred one, especially because the armor reduction will help boost the auto attacks. Even though its cooldown is twice as long as Phosphorus Bomb. Phosphorus Bomb used to be good for jungling with him, but they uh, you know, took off the blind. Speed of heat! Unfortunately, I have to level Phosphorus Bomb again, so in a real game, this would, this build order for skills would pretty be much a hindrance. He doesn't have Valkyrie. And I missed one creep. Alright, I obviously can't do red, I will die. So, in this case, I would just move down to small golems. But it looks like I'll probably have to go home too. Which is uh, another distasteful thing. Or they could just kill me. Yeah. Of course, after this, I'll probably figure out something else. And knowing that small golems would kill me, I'd probably either, you know, do the whole leashing trick right here, or just, you know. Save more mana or get Valkyrie, in fact, and try some kiting. But in either way, that's kind of how I go about it. I may release a quickie video too, because it's just not impossible. In any case, it's it's just a lot of trial and error. It isn't that I'm, you know, some magical genius of math. It's just but try the runes I'm count co I know, then look and research more if I keep failing and then throw in more things. But try at least, I mean, I try at least to get as close of a possible as a build that transitions well into the game. I mean, if a caster like Zeroth, you know, whatever, he's a joke. But like on Riven, I would try a build that that seems like it would make sense in a real game. Anyways, that's how it goes.